moments after members of parliament had settled in to a Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference at the Marriott Hotel in Kingston, Minister of State Joseph Harmon had no escape from the battery of major operatives who were seeking answers on the Brian Tiwari appointment issue. Uh, appointment. Could you tell us a bit about why the appointment? I will have a full press conference tomorrow on the matter. But the matter is being informed about it. During the course of today, early way, 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 you'll be informed about it during the course of today. Uh -huh. I a full press conference. I'll give you a full brief on everything. Minister Harmon, doing everything he can to avoid more trouble, refused to answer the question, but can only say all will be discussed tomorrow at its weekly post cabinet press briefing. But the major practitioners did not give up. They tried one more shot at it. Listen. The media will be fully briefed. But are you still are you still comforted by the by the, by the fact that he was appointed? You, you, you consider it a, Did you consider it a good move? You get a full brief. You can't have to have, this, have two bites of the cherry. Tomorrow you get a brief and you can ask but all of the questions that you want to ask. Okay. How are you feel about? We will just have to wait until tomorrow. But hours after that, doing a recording of the public interest show. With the head of state, President David Granger stated that Mr. Tiwari was not an appointee of the government and that he was not performing any function and that is why the position was rescinded. The president further stated that his government has a minister of business and as far as he is concerned, that minister is quite capable and quite competent. The appointment was executed by Minister of State Joseph Harmon back in January. The President and the rest of the Cabinet were unaware of the appointment until it was revealed in a Kaichur news story on Sunday. By Tuesday, the Ministry of the Presidency announced that the appointment had been rescinded. Many are asking what is going on in the David Granger administration and how is it that the Minister of State could make an appointment without Cabinet's approval tomorrow? We should get all the answers. Basil.